and everyone is talking about it. In fact, uh, on the Richard Dawkins Foundation website, there's an article that's titled, Why Bill Nye Shouldn't Debate Ken Ham. And in it, the author states this. He says, quote, scientists should not debate creationists. Debating creationists offer their position credibility. So how do you respond to that, Ken? Well, two things. First of all, number one, notice, notice the way they misrepresent the situation all the time. Scientists should not debate creationists. Right there, they're saying, if you're a creationist, you can't be a scientist. Right, right. right. And you see, that is a misrepresentation. And we need to deal with that. that. That's the way they indoctrinate students. You know, if you're a creationist, you're not a scientist. You know, it's science versus the Bible. It's scientists versus creationists. Right. And so, first of all, we want to be able to help people understand there are lots of scientists who are creationists, biblical creationists. And so that's, that's the first thing we need to deal with in regard to that. Second is, you know, when they say it'll give us a platform, see, that's what they don't want. There's been an incredible censorship in the public schools in America, in fact, around the world, but particularly in America, where students aren't even allowed to critically think about evolution or the issue of origins. They're not allowed to hear other points of view. They're taught incorrectly about science and taught that evolution is fact. And they, they, really, there's, there's legislation to protect the teaching of evolution in schools. And so what's happening here with this is it's actually bringing information to the public uh, so that, you know, we're overcoming that censorship. And it's sort of like, you know, when an army has gone out and captured some ground and then, you know, the secularists have captured a lot of ground in this nation. And then when we want to take some of that ground back, man, they're going to do battle and they're yeah. emotional about it. They do not want people hearing this information because they know as soon as they hear this information, many people will start to think carefully, think for themselves, think critically, go check it out and find out that evolution is simply not true and not possible. Right. You know, one of the things that Ray and I have talked about all the time, because obviously Ray has debated and, and been in a lot of atheist and evolutionary formats, if, if creationists are as silly and as ridiculous as they say we are, then the greatest thing they should want is to put us in front of a camera and in right. front of the world, because you know, that'll speak to, to, to their view. Uh, but Mark, well, I know you had it, another, oh, go ahead, sorry, Ken. Yeah, yeah, Izzy, I was gonna say, you know, if, if, if they are so right, if evolution is so easy to see, I mean, if it's so obvious, if we are so obviously wrong, why would they be afraid for, right people to hear what we've got to say. Right. Uh, what would it matter? You know, I, I remember when I was on the BBC over in London a number of years ago, and I was in a TV studio in Wales, actually, and there was a program where there was a professor of genetics in the BBC studio in London, and so we were all on the same program, and his name was Dr. Jones. He was professor of genetics at London University at that time. And one of the things I said was, I said, look, Dr. Jones, you've got millions of people watching this BBC program. Why don't you go ahead? Look, if evolution is so obvious, what's the best example you can give that everyone out there is going to say, oh, wow, I've got to believe in evolution. <laughs> and, and he went ahead and he said, yes, you've got these species of salmon, you know, fish that produce different species of salmon. And I said, but there's still salmon. Right. And I think even the host of the, of the program got it right. and understood. <laughs> Right. Well, that, that's a throwback to evolution versus God. That's exactly what happened with Ray as he interviewed some of the top evolutionary professors. Mark